Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 13th. This is for somebody, not everybody. This is for anybody. You know, it's uh, all signs, so it's not a sign based. Okay, it's just an energy that I'm picking up on today. Welcome to this never ending story. If this reading doesn't resonate with you, check the daily vibes for the last couple days. These are basically not, um, you know, when you watch the reading, if you're drawn to it, then it, you know, then it's for you at that time, okay? So, what do we have for the 13th? Somebody may be giving up on love. <laughs> right? Ace of Cups reverse. This is no longer emotionally fulfilling and they have to do what they got to do to bring balance back to a, to a situation. Somebody is making a final decision. And it is in regards to love. They've invested in something that has no more growth. Yeah, they're trying to, somebody's trying to bring balance back. Absolutely. Ooh. All right. So we have somebody that is absolutely giving up. They've wasted their time. They've wasted their time. Um, it's like they weren't chosen. They weren't chosen. And now they have to make the decision to go after what they deserve. And somebody is heading down a new path towards something really abundant, okay? Somebody is making a decision to to go go through a new door, okay? Uh, it's time for me to choose uh, door number two, okay? They're going through a new path, going down a new path, you know? Um, now, this is a golden opportunity, Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's giving up on a relationship. I'm looking for something solid. I'm looking for something stable. I'm looking for something long term. I'm looking for something abundant. And wherever they've been, there's no compatibility. There's too much arguing. There's too many fights. There's too much uh, uh, indecisiveness. I mean, it's, it's just a big problem. Okay, there's bickering, there's fighting, there's incompatibility that's not love. It's like there's no more love left here in this relationship. And I've got to do the right thing. Somebody is, you know, wanting to bring balance and harmony. And in order to do that, they're going to have to make a difficult decision. Based on what's happened. All the facts. It's like gathering all the facts about this relationship that has fallen apart. Somebody's gathered the facts and they're about to make a decision. You know, something they've invested. They've invested a lot of time and energy into, you know, waiting for something to grow and to get better. And now it's like it's a dead end. It's like there's no more growth left here. I have to do what's right to bring back balance, you know, to get what I deserve. I'm looking for something really, really solid here. These cards fell out. Yeah, somebody is absolutely making a decision. No shit. It's like I need to be logical. Somebody is seeing a situation as it is. It's like it is what it is and I'm going to tell it like it is and I'm going to say it like it is and 
this is what it is and this is how it's going to be somebody is absolutely making a decision to not put in effort into a relationship that is no longer compatible in search for something better somebody is coming out of the darkness after probably you know not wanting to believe that this was over somebody really invested in it and they didn't take action for quite some time but now there's some facts there's some truth that has been delivered and this truth cannot be denied somebody has heard the truth about a relationship that is no longer abundant somebody's moving somebody's ending a relationship with this ten of pentacles reverse it's like I'm moving I'm not staying here there's no abundance there's nothing solid I can't build my legacy with a somebody who doesn't love me. So I think that there's somebody is making that decision to, you know, not put in any more action or effort into a dead end situation. And I think it's because the universe is, is, or God or whoever, or somebody is offering them a new opportunity. It's like, no, you have something better. You have, you do, you have, <coughs> you have something better. And somebody is realizing, this is realizing that there's another opportunity, a better, more solid, stable opportunity out there. This is realizing it. So somebody is absolutely realizing that, you know, they deserve more than this. I deserve more than this. And they're making that cut. They're making that choice. They're, they're seeing it absolutely clearly that, you know, I think that there's, they are realizing that they have a better opportunity. Absolutely. I mean, with the lover's card is usually a choice between two. And it's like, no, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't love. Love doesn't. Treat me like this. Love doesn't, um, lie, you know, like this. Somebody has lied and then another person has figured out the truth. The truth has been revealed. And somebody is trying to do the right thing to bring back, you know, balance and harmony to their life. I'm, I, yeah, you know, I'm ready for my new opportunity. I'm, I want, I want the gold, okay? I want the gold. I don't I don't I don't want the fucking platinum. I want the fucking gold. Excuse my language. So I think that somebody's going for the gold and they're they're leaving behind uh, a relationship that is just not compatible. It's not love. It's like unrequited love at this point. It is. It's an unrequited love situation here. And it's coming to an end. Okay, it is. It's coming to an end. So, yeah, somebody is 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 going to you know speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth with probably with not a whole lot of tact. You know, it will probably come out you know uh, as brutally honest as it needs to come out, so that this person understands that you know. This is a dead end. There's no, I can't, I don't have any desire to put any more energy into it. Somebody's given up. Okay, that's what this is. So, I think the truth is going to be spoken. And somebody's like, you know what, I don't want to prove myself. I don't want to fight with you. I just want to be happy. There's no love here. I'm not going to focus on this loss. I want real love. I'm not going to cling to this past. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Somebody has been clinging to the memories or they may have been staying for children. Who knows? But it's over now. 
It's over now. Now, what's that song? It's over now. Take a bow. It's over now. Take a bow. Anyway, um, yeah, somebody is realizing that they, they're not going to throw away a new opportunity for this unrequited love situation. I'm ready for love. I want real love. I don't want nothing to prove. You, you know, you're dealing, they were dealing with somebody who had a big ego and it's like, you know what? No. Mm -mm. I just want to be happy. I'm giving up this struggle. I don't want to deal with these struggles anymore. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm giving up. I'm going for my gold. I'm going for the gold. Yep, somebody is... Wanting to find, you know, the, the perfect match. And they've been in a discontent, unharmonious, I mean, unhappy situation where, you know, it's like the foundation has fallen apart. And I, I'm looking for forever here. I'm looking for the, the, the connection of a lifetime here. And I think this clinging to... Whoever it is that they were with that has held them back from extreme happiness. But now they're realizing they are. Somebody is seeing things clearly that, you know, my commitment is someplace else. I see that I will find my happiness outside of this past situation. Yeah, because somebody is letting go, they're severing ties. Somebody is severing ties with a partnership that is no longer love. You know, it's unrequited love at this point. There's no more attraction, there's no more chemistry. It's done, it's over. And they're looking for that golden opportunity with their, you know true love it's like I'm looking for true love and I'm not going to invest another second another minute another anything in this unrequited love situation so somebody has made a final decision to tell the truth about how they really feel because they're in search of happiness it really in this is this, this is in search of happiness I want I deserve happiness I deserve love I mean it's, it's what this is Somebody is going to go after love. Real love. And in order to go after real love, they have to make the decision to end this unrequited love situation. So somebody is in the process of realizing and probably severing ties with this. This person from the past. Severing ties with this person from the past that held them back from the perfect match. So anyway, that's what I see. I feel like there's some ties that are being severed. Somebody is probably moving or they're making plans to move from this situation that is, you know, just a big old feud. It's just been nothing but a feud. Somebody is taking action, okay? Somebody is taking action to shed what no longer serves them. That's what the magician does. Takes action to shed what no longer serves them so that they can bring success. That is exactly what is going on. It's letting go of the old and manifesting the new. And this is a card of manifesting as well. Somebody is letting go of something that is no longer love and in the process or in the, I can't think of the words, um, in the attempt, you know, they're going to manifest new love, okay? I'm going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on new love. 
I'm going to focus on new abundance. I'm going to use all the resources within me to bring victory and success, to bring the true love, to bring whatever I want into my life. So, But they have to shed first. So somebody is is releasing the past and bringing in a new opportunity. That's what's happening here. So I feel like today is a day of making that final decision to stop investing in an opportunity that never fulfilled you or didn't, doesn't fulfill you anymore, that has left a person discontent and unhappy in order to find happiness. Somebody is making that firm decision to make this cut. So I, today is a day about severing ties. Somebody is severing ties and heading towards their true soulmate because they're finding the strength to do so. They're finding the, the uh, mental ability to be logical and be honest and act with integrity rather than holding on to somebody that, you know, is in love. And because they do the right thing, they receive a reward, okay? You're going to get what you deserve for doing the right thing. If you don't love somebody, you don't stay there. You will receive a reward. You will. If you stay with a situation and you don't love the person, then you don't receive a reward. I mean, that's just the way it goes. So somebody is going to receive a reward or a golden opportunity for acting with integrity. I mean, that's what we have here. So that's what we have. I'm not going to keep going. We're going to get one of these cards. Somebody is severing ties with somebody from their past or somebody that they're with now. They're severing the ties and they're headed towards happiness. Um, abundance. But they, in order to receive that golden opportunity, they're going to have to they're going to have to move away from some sort of feud that they've been engaged in. There's definitely been some sort of fighting, some feuds, some family problems at home, issues. They're going to have to move, like, I think, like, physically move. Ooh, distant thunder, clear the air. Yes, the, the air is absolutely going to be cleared here. Somebody's going to speak up, and it probably isn't going to be pretty. It's probably not. Distant thunder. But it's what needs to happen. It's going to be truthful, honest communication when it comes through. It may not come through in the nicest tone of voice, but it's, it's, it's going to come through as it needs to come through. It is. Distant thunder. Clear the air. Dramatic purification, renewal, and healing are occurring on many levels. Don't be concerned if there is chaos in your life. There probably will be some chaos. In this instance, it is good. It is shaking things up so you don't become stagnant. That's exactly what this is. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new opportunities new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. I'm going to read that again. If your auric field or your personal space is cluttered, it's difficult for exciting new experiences and opportunities to come into your life. We're searching for gold here, not platinum. I said that. It's, it's time to clear out clutter I already said this. Release the old, discarded and unused. Like I said, it's 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 over. It's unrequited love. It's 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 no more. It's no more. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. I can't make this shit up. Clear the air and release situations and people who don't empower you. Purify the dross out of your life in order for renewal to occur. 
The old needs to make way for the new. Was I not telling you about the magician literally like one minute ago? You have to shed first. These cards always sum up my reading every single time. So somebody is saying goodbye to the old and going for the gold. And the gold is right around the corner. Don't look back. Speak your truth. Stay tuned for the Januaries. I just did Aries and Taurus. I'll be doing the rest over the next couple of days, the January forecast. Talk to you next time.